Hello, welcome back. Uh, or you can welcome me back since I'm the one who's been AWOL. Uh, thank you for tuning back into our channel. Today we are finally doing our patch test of the different paw balm formulations. Here is Sasha, and uh, we have a special guest with us today. Drum roll, please. Please. My sister's dog, Ginger. Ginger, you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> Ginger, face that way, look. But uh, anyway, this is Ginger, my sister's dog. She's visiting for a little bit. So I'm really excited. Let's get right into it. The whole point of the 24 hour patch test is to make sure that it doesn't cause any reaction. And then we can go into testing it to see which formulation works the best or if they work you know pretty much the same okay doggies you gotta keep my stuff clean <laughs> here are three different paw balm samples one with the cbd formula i wrote one with the formula that does not have cbd in it and then one where i accidentally put more cbd than i was supposed to so i figured you know what why throw it out just try it and see if it actually you know could be a contender. Considering the last video where I talked about the preservatives and saw those weird little patches in the product, I went ahead and researched natural preservatives like I said I was going to and I found one that you know hopefully will be effective. I still haven't done any stability testing to know for sure whether it's effective but I looked one up and I tried one. So also, one thing I want to address regarding the last video, I assumed that all of those patches in the paw balm when I opened it were some sort of microbial growth. But the, when I made these batches, the next day after they had cooled completely, so I guess like 48 hours after making them, I opened them and some of them had those same patches in them again. So I'll show you each of this, these ones. So this one does not have any patches. This one does not have any patches, but this one immediately had patches. So you see some of those speckles and patches in there. So I was like, it's too quick for that to be microbial growth. I was like way off. Um, but you know, like I said, this is all trial and error and learning as I go. So hopefully we can figure what this figure out what this is together. I'm assuming, especially since this is the batch with the excessive CBD, I'm assuming those patches are recrystallized CBD. Because before, I was like, when I looked at them, there so much time had passed. Like that, um, that last batch that I addressed in the previous video, three weeks had gone by in between making them and opening them again. So when I opened it and saw all these patches, I assumed it was something growing in it. Because it also doesn't look too nice. It, it looks gross. But, you know, for these same patches to be here just like a day later, I'm like, okay, that's, you know, that's not microbial growth, it's a little too quick. So I'm gonna use this plastic knife to cut in and see if I can get to, hmm. um, get to an obvious location of this white patch. So now that I'm cutting into it, I really, I don't see anything like, there's some color variation, but it's largely the same color. Oh no, here's some white, some white um, clumps right on top of this like yellow clump. So it probably is just recrystallized CBD, um, which tells me that I need to figure out a better way to blend the CBD into the product because if it's all clumping together, even though it's dispersed, um, you know, maybe it might be less effective. But anyway, from what I see so far, I think the texture of this looks nice. It doesn't seem like there's anything growing in it. There's no smell or anything. 
you know so that's why that, that answers a few questions that were perplexing me before like okay if this is microbial growth i feel like we should be seeing a few other things as well um but you know those things were largely absent so that that would explain it as of right now i only mix the oils together with a silicone spatula but perhaps if i get like a a immersion blender or an electric blender of some kind perhaps that will help um, the ingredients mix together a little bit better and maybe we won't see this patchiness forming but i'm glad we solved that mystery have to renege my petri dish comments <laughs> sorry that i have to show you my foot but that is what i decided to do this test on so all i have on my foot is jergens um lotion which i always use every single day so i don't consider it to be like a variable or anything um and i will just use this sharpie to outline parts of my foot and then swatch the paw balm on each part of my foot so i want to do it this way to show you know like okay well this is a dry area but first of all, this is just the patch test. This is just to make sure there's no reactivity. So um, I will try to get as much distance between the different patches as possible, um, but also try to keep it on like similar textured skin. So my heel is a little bit dry or like thick, you can see there. So I will just do a little outline with the Sharpie. And I already, you know, showered this morning and stuff. So when I say it'll be a 24 hour patch test, I mean, I'm not going to be washing this off until at least 24 hours from now. It's currently 10.32 on Thursday. Um, so we will see. Now I want to show you the consistency of each one as I go along. So we'll start with the CBD one and um, I washed my hands a million times before this because I've been dealing with the dogs and stuff. So here is, it's so beautiful, it's like really glorious, I bet you can't wait till you can buy this. Mm -hmm. But here I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. So it's it's very solid you see and then it it gives in to the body heat which is probably a little bit reduced right now from washing my hands so many times so i have to press in a little bit more and that's a nice buttery balmy texture a nice balm and that's a CBD one. We do want to get enough to make sure it's actually, you know, reacting with my skin and put it on in this circle right here. So next, we will swatch the calendula one and I will use a different finger. Um, Here's the calendula one, also looking beautiful. I'm gonna swatch that. Oh, sorry. Same thing where I kind of have to press in a little bit with my finger to get it out. And it's the same consistency, the same butteriness to it. It's very nice. It's a nice consistency. And, um,. Just rub that in there. Next, I will rotate my foot and try not to rub it against the carpet to not rub off the first one. And so here's the one with extra CBD, the one that I cut into.
same consistency and texture that we already saw. It's a little bit grainier, actually. Ooh, it's much grainier. Yeah, I put way too much CBD in this. I don't like the texture of this one. It's, like, it's not as good. Okay. Now that we've gotten up close and personal and you've seen where I'm ashy and where I'm moisturized and where I'm dry and where I'm smooth, um, I just wanted to make sure, you know, I am proceeding with a formulation that is safe and trustworthy um, so that the next few stages can be focusing on building the rest of the brand, building the social media presence, and getting all the financials in order and everything to lead up to the launch. So, like I said, it is Thursday and it is 10.39 a.m. right now. So tomorrow, Friday at 10.39, we will see if there's any redness. Um, if I give you my initial impressions, I feel a slight tingling here, actually. <laughs> um, but the other two feel normal. Oops, sorry, Ginger. So, oh, that's interesting. So, I mean, I don't know if that's a bad tingling yet or if it's an okay tingling, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. No, for real, this is tingling. This one, this one is tingling on my foot. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's, it's almost itchy. <laughs> it's almost itchy. It doesn't look bad yet, uh, or is it turning red? I can't tell. I think it looks normal still, but oh well. I mean, <laughs> it's on there now, so we will see. Um, if it worsens, I'll update you and let you know. Otherwise, I'll leave it on there and see what it looks like tomorrow. Um, yeah, okay, that's the one with extra CBD, so clearly there may be some skin sensitivity. Um, to the amount of CBD in there. We'll, we shall see. So it's been over 24 hours and um, you can see the marks got a little faded. I uh, haven't showered or anything yet, but so as you can see, there's no irritation. And so this one, I said when I first put it on that it was tingling, it continued to tingle for like a few hours, like and then it just stopped before the end of the day yesterday. I wouldn't say it was a good tingle, it was definitely irritation, so the concentration of CBD in that version is definitely too high, but the one that I meant to make was great, and uh, the, one, the other one that I meant to make was also great. As you know, I've been tinkering with this formulation. Based on this patch test, um, I plan to proceed with the calendula and CBD formulas. Um, I really want to get this thing launched. I really want to, you know, rally together the people who are really interested in this. Oh, I really want to know your feedback. So based on the texture that I showed you and the finish that you could see on my skin when I rubbed it in, what do you think about it? Do you think, you know, it's too soft, it's not waxy enough, it's too oily, or do you think it's just right? Do you like that finish that it had on my skin or do you want it to have a more like a coat, more like a coating um, than a butter that melts into the skin? Let me know what you want for your pets. Uh, oh, and I want to shout out, I got this cute t-shirt, Grace Cadet, from my friend Casper, the same person whose podcast I was a guest on a few weeks ago. Um, I also mentioned that in my previous video, um, but his socials are um, Kid Casper and the I is an exclamation point. He's on YouTube, he's on Instagram, he's on TikTok. Um, his handles for Instagram and TikTok are Mr. Lead with Love. And um, he has a really cute clothing line. The imagery is more like galactic, like space stuff and the text on it is stuff relating to the Bible, related to Christ. So Grace Cadet, 
was a cute shirt that caught my eye. So I just wanted to shout him out, especially since, you know, he's been a huge supporter of mine as well. Uh, so please check him out. And also please check out the other videos in our series, our vlog series um, here on my channel if you haven't already. Thank you. Bye. Say bye, Sasha. Sasha. Say bye bye. Ginger. Ginger, come here. Ginger's big booty is right here. Ugh, Ginger, sit up. Ugh.